In this video, we'll see how to change the column width of a column into your Excel using the macros VBA. So let us see that. Now, I am in the sheet named as T that is column width, same file Excel VBA. I've written some data at this place. Now what I'll do is I'll open the VBA editor and I'll show you the part. Okay, that's a VBA editor part. Okay, in this place. Now these are the list of names of the sheet which I don't need it now. I'll just minimize those sheets. These are the names of the modules which are given. My code is written into this module that is column width. So these are the macro which is written here. Let us try to understand what is written. The sub procedure column width is given here. There is given as range a1 dot column width. Okay, the a1 in the sense this cell range a1 dot column width equal to 15. That's very simple method dot column width is the answer you have to write there dot column width equal to 25 dot column width equal to 4. So I'm trying to change the different values here. So there are more than one method to change the column width of a column. Okay, so you see range a1 dot columns dot column width equal to 15. So they both are the same. They'll do the same thing itself, but there are different ways to write the same thing. Okay, so range a1 dot columns dot column width 15, 24 and so on. So let us see if I execute one by one, what will happen here? I'll just keep my cursor and press step into again, step into after I execute this command, observe this column column width itself. Now it is, it will become as 15. If I click on this place, you see the column width became as 15. Now, if again, if I click on step into, it will become as 25. You observe the column width increase. Simple thing range dot column width equal to you have to write the number. Next is I will purposely decrease the column width. I'll just click on this place. Now you see the column width has become much, let's say four spaces. Again, if I say column width 15, again, click on this place. So this method is also used to increase or decrease the column width to change it. 24 and again, five step into step into, right? That's done. Now, sometimes you don't, you don't have the idea about the column width, what it should be given. Sometimes you want to make it as auto fit. So what is the command for making the auto fit? So range dot range a one dot columns dot auto fit. So if you use this, your columns will become auto fit here itself. Now, if I click on this place, you see now the columns has become auto fit. If there are some text which are extra, it will become the auto fit part automatically itself. And finally, I'll come out of this end sub. I'll just click on this step into and finally I came out of this coding part itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand how to change the column width, how to increase, decrease and make it as auto fit using macros VPA. That's all for this video.